Russian manufacturer test flies prototype wide-body passenger airplane. Russia's leading aircraft manufacturer says it's completed a successful test flight of a new wide-body passenger airplane that it claims could replace Western aircraft in the country's skies. The United Aircraft Corporation said a prototype of its IL-96-400M long-haul airplane has taken off for the first time on a flight that lasted 26 minutes and reached altitudes of up to 2,000 meters, 6,562 feet, and speeds of up to 390 kilometers per hour, 242 miles per hour, according to a news release posted by the company last week. UAC, which oversees Russian aviation brands including Tupolev, Ilyashin and Sukhoi, said the plane will be capable of carrying up to 370 passengers, a capacity that would put it alongside the likes of Airbus A340 or Boeing 777. It said the airplane marked a step up from the previous IL-96-300 aircraft, production of which reportedly halted more than a decade ago because it was unable to compete with Western models. The first and successful flight of the modernized IL-96-400M is a demonstration of the highest level of competence of domestic aircraft manufacturers, Russia's Deputy Prime Minister, Denis Mancharov, said in the release. According to UAC, the IL-96-400M can be configured in up to three passenger classes and will be installed with a modern infotainment system offering internet, TV, and satellite communications. It will also be equipped with a modern kitchen. The new airplane, which was photographed mid-air decorated in UAC corporate colors, could be seen as a public relations win for Russia at a time when its domestic aviation industry is creaking under pressure of Western sanctions imposed because of its invasion of Ukraine. US and European sanctions on leasing planes to Russia led to that country losing nearly 10% of commercial aircraft before President Vladimir Putin enacted laws allowing Russian airlines to seize leased aircraft and re-register them domestically. But with limited access to parts for planes made by Boeing, Airbus, and other Western manufacturers like Bombardier and Ember, experts say keeping fleets airworthy will be increasingly difficult. As of 2022, only 144 active Russian airline planes were built in Russia, according to data provided by aviation analytics firm Sirium. Although Moscow won't admit it, the sanctions that followed the Ukraine invasion have really damaged Russian aviation, Mado Morrison, head of strategic content at Flight Global, tells CNN. The problem is that lack of spares, some get in through the back door undoubtedly, means that many Airbus and Boeing aircraft flying in Russia today are potentially dangerous. Although Russia has a proficient regulator, there is very little visibility as to the health of its fleet. In September, an Airbus A320 operated by Ural Airlines, reportedly one of the least aircraft appropriated by Russia, was forced to make an emergency landing in a field in Russia's Novosibirsk region due to what was provisionally claimed to have been a mid-air failure of its hydraulic system. Last year, a safety audit by the International Civil Aviation Organization resulted in Russia being marked with a red flag indicating insufficient regulatory oversight, a status shared by only three other countries, Bhutan, Congo, and Liberia. Addressing concerns, Russia's Ministry of Transport said at the time that flight safety on Russia-operated aircraft meets international standards. UAC's release said the new IL-96-400 MS safety and reliability was comparable to the world's best models due to the redundancy of the aircraft systems and its aerodynamic configuration. The manufacturer also said it would meet international regulatory requirements. Yuri Slyuser, UAC's general director, was quoted in the release saying it would, alongside other Russian-built aircraft, be deployed across the country's aviation network and replace foreign analogs. Yo no, 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 no